Hey everybody, welcome back. So glad you're here with me today. I have not filmed in about a week because I've been really sick and I still sound like a demented frog demon, whatever. So you're gonna just have to deal with that. This is the first time in a bit that I'm playing with makeup. And this, I'm planning on posting on May 1st, the beginning of Hot Mess May. And if you're new here, Hot Mess May is something we've celebrated since I started this channel. Because in May, a shitstorm usually happens. Without warning, you just know it's coming. So, try to embrace it and take, take it by the horns. Maybe not so roughly, but try to, we're going to survive. And if we all have each other's backs, it's all gravy. And this video, I am thinking, is a great way to start because it shall be a hot mess, I think. And this will be a learning curve and something to just know I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, and it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay. We all have preferences on the types of makeup we like to use, the types of products, the brands, etc. I think I'm titling this um, either makeup products I don't use or using types of makeup I don't use and what inspired it was influencer sent me a box of sleek makeup they sent me three items and they are all things I usually do not use so I'm gonna try using them because they tell me I have to try to create a look and uh, I have to do a review on it. So, first up, we have metallic eyeliners. And this one looks to be in silver. If you know me, I never use eyeliner because I just have this thing when I don't like pokey things next to my eye. And I think that's natural for someone not to like that and but today we're gonna try it and uh, i've gotta open it why is it so hard to open it looked so easy it has like those perforated lines there we go so let's see what this looks like if it's a pencil a creme pencil whatever stuff that goes on your eyeball well, not on my eyeball, but you get the point. And it looks like a creme kind of pencil. We'll swatch it here. Oh, it's creamy. I don't know if you'll see that because of the lighting, but I'm going to try it. And it says here, I also, these products were sent to me free to review um, for in exchange for my review. From Sleek Makeup and Influencer. I will link Influencer down below. I might already have it in my description. Who knows? Metallic eyeliner. Shine bright with Sleek Makeup's life proof 12 hour wear metallic eyeliner. These pencils are majorly creamy and waterproof, letting you smudge it out where needed for perfect eyes that go all day and night. Hmm, the 12 hour claim is kind of. Something I don't think. Next is highlighting elixir. This is one of the lighter colors and just as illuminating drops. I could probably put it in my foundation. I already put my foundation on. Never mind. And glow up in an instant with sleek makeup highlighting elixir illuminating drop. Highlighting elixirs are long-lasting, highly pigmented in color, and can be worn 
alone or mixed with foundation or loose pigments for that extra glow. Okay. Let's see how that goes. I'll try to open it and ooh, it's a little goopy but that's what the color looks like it's like a creamy gold and I usually never use liquid highlight because I just can't work it right and then there is this loose pigment and it's in a red color and it is does not have a name maybe it does I don't know what's the name oh you 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 for it I can't talk tonight and I never use loose I hate loose products but I'm gonna try it so that inspired me to toss in two other things I never do, which is, does not have anything with the sleek makeup. Is I'm going to blush, and I'm going to use a bronzer. And we'll see how it goes. So let's start off. I got my base face on, and of course I'll start with the eyes. No, wait, oh, there. Oh, what the hell? It has this really weird top. And it looks more gold than it does red. Let me see what happens when I stick a little brush in it before I even. Oh, it's like packed to the top. I don't even know. Is that a rollerball? It feels like the top. Hold on. I'm like dusting it off like a dinosaur or something. Ah. Yeah, it was covered all. It has this little weird top. And it was all covered in the pigment. And you open it. And it has a sifter. So let's. I am going to grab one of my new Luxies. And we're just gonna put it on my lid. Like, I don't like this dispenser. Hmm, I wonder if I could take the sifter off and just dunk my brush into it. No, it doesn't seem, it seems like I'll break a nail if I do that. So maybe I just, I'm going to take some and put it on the card they gave me. Or am I supposed to use my, it makes sense to use the lid. I'm trying. Alright. Let's see if this works. I want to wet the brush. Because I always find whenever I try pigments, they look better if I used water. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's better. And I hope they're not expecting, like, some kind of fabulous look. And then we got fallout. We'll put some here. I'm not going to go crazy, especially since these are types of makeup. I never use so it's an accomplishment to just get it on my face like 
but yeah, the water makes it look a lot better. And I think it looks pretty good. Look at that. Mm, I'll get that later with concealer. Mm. I think that's enough of a loose pigment. Now, mm. there we go. Sorry, I it looked a little uneven over there. Okay, now they say you could use the elixir drops on top of the pigment. So I'm going to try that in my inner corner. And this is really sloppy to work with. Like, all right, inner corner. Let's find a brush. Like, I don't want to go ham with this. I just want a little brush. I don't like that liquidy feeling. Uh, now I gotta get a drier brush and see. It kind of blends. It kind of does. It's not awful, but it's not like the best. The fallout's awful. So, we're good there. On to the next product. This video is going to be too long. Next product is going to be the eyeliner, since that's what scares me most. And I'm going to be looking into this tiny little mirror instead. So I can get a better idea. I don't even see. I don't even know how to hold the damn thing. So. Wish there was no shadows. It's going to be a little bit of a quiet process. I hope I'm screwing it to look up by using two different colors. And I've never done a wing. So we're just going to grow it out a little. I think I did it. Well, let's see. I won't be able to tell until I look back at the footage. Like, I could tell when I look close up once I'm done, it like kind of skips. I'm trying to do a little cat eye on this side. It's not really working. But for my first time, it's not entirely horrible. Like I could see myself trying to experiment again. I just think... Maybe if it, the line was finer. I know it's fatter line right now because of um, 
being my first time and trying to do it and just trying because you're not going to do everything you do you don't do perfect the first time and like they used to tell you in school practice means perfect well it kind of does and will i do things like this again maybe maybe not if i don't like them i don't have to no, I'm trying to see if I could get this up. You know what? I know I have. Come on. I need. I hate when you put something down and it just disappears. Some a concealer. Mm. Now, I'm gonna attempt to bronze or contour. I don't think it's con. I don't know. At this point, I give up. I got this. In an Ipsy bag, it was Morphe, it's a Morphe bronzer, and Cassie was trying to explain everything to me, technically. So, we're gonna see how this goes. I got a contour brush, I never really used it for contouring. This is it, I'm dunking it in, and, oh boy, it looks so harsh. So you're supposed to put the contour there and do like a three or something. Isn't that how it is? Like one, two, three. And then you take a blending brush, I think, and blend it out. I look horrible, I think. And again, I'm not used to this, so I look dirty. I feel like I look dirty, but it's not as bad as I was envisioning. And now we go in blush. I'm going to use this one since it's the best to get to. It's supposed to be a highlight. It's a shimmery blush. The other blush I have is bashful but I don't have access to that right now so we're just going to use this one called vacay and I'm going to use this brush I know it's another like kind of contoury one but you know you're supposed to dab it on the apples on your cheeks at least that's what I was always. And I never use blush because I just, it's not my favorite thing in the world. Like, I always thought to myself, if I'm flushing out all this redness and color when I put foundation on, why do I want to put it back in if I'm trying to get rid of it, you know? And like, all in all, when it's all is said and done, you do you, boo. I know people hate that saying, but <clears throat> there's no other better way to say it. You just do what you want to do. Now, uh, last thing is we're gonna browse. Brows are done. I just had to wave some of that in. And then, pardon me, the last thing is lipstick. And 
I'm gonna go for. I was gonna. I should do like a metallic, but I don't. I do have a metallic red, I think. It will pull it together, metallic red. I don't know where my metallic red is right now. So we're just going to go for a regular red. It's a little wonky. the final look the lipstick is sorry about that I don't know how it's gonna come out in editing but I had to take a call that's what I film on anyway the last step I think is I forgot to use the highlighter as a highlighter so I'm going to Take my sponge and just put some on it. And I'm gonna tap, 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 tap. Oh boy. See, it accentuates my texture, and I don't like that. Maybe because I'm rubbing, maybe I should tap more. But, yeah, that's the last part, and this is the final look. I don't like the texture. I feel like my face... Well, that contour is a little too dark. Um, only time will tell if I use products like this again or if I let everything just go back to the way I like it. You never know. I will see you guys in the next one.